I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Now today we're making what I think is absolutely the best pork loin recipe available. So I love it and I'm sure you will too. Now pork loin is kind of a stepchild when it comes to barbecue, but quite often it's priced lower than a lot of chicken that I've seen. At least it is where I live. And I usually have no trouble finding it for $1.99 a pound. And that's an absolute bargain in today's economy. And if you cook it like I show you today, then I promise that it will forever change your thinking about pork loin. First thing we need to do is open up that loin, dry it off with paper towels. I've already cut mine in two pieces because whenever I buy pork loin, when I get home from the store, I cut that loin in half and then I vacuum seal it. It's easier to handle, it's easier to store, and it's also easier to cook. And also there's the fact that you may just want to cook a half a loin. Maybe you don't want to cook the whole thing at once. Now you want to look it over, see if you got any pieces that are dangling or flapping around because those pieces just won't cook properly. And so as you can see, I only had a few pieces and just trimmed those right off. Now, I'm assuming that the fat cap is no thicker than a quarter of inch. I didn't have to do any trimming on the fat cap on mine. Anyway, you want to dry it off and then you want to score that fat cap in a diamond pattern. Now we're cooking fat side up, so that will be the presentation side. Today, Worcestershire sauce is going to be the binder. Now you can use mustard, pickle juice and mustard, or you can use a binder of your choice. But Worcestershire imparts a little of that umami flavor, so it's my choice today. Now we want to start meat side up. You want to get a thin, even coating of the binder on the meat side, then go ahead and also get the sides while you're at it. You want to spread it out as evenly as possible with your gloved hand. Today I'm using Goldie's Barbecue All-Purpose Rub. That's available from Goldie's. You can also buy it on Amazon, and I'll leave an Amazon link. It'll be down below in the video description. And disclaimer, I'll make a small commission on it if you use my link, but it does not change the Amazon price in any way. Thank you for supporting this channel. Now, for those of you that feel a little bit more adventurous, you can make your own version of this rub. It's two parts black pepper, one part kosher salt, and one part Lowry seasoned salt. Give that meat and the sides a generous coating of the rub. Now flip it over, do the presentation side, the scored side, add the binder, and then the rub. So today I'm cooking on a Traeger. You want to start as low as your smoker will go. And this Traeger has about 165 minimum temperature. And as soon as you start up, get those loins on the grill. You don't have to warm it up, it's not necessary. We want to take advantage of all that smoke that's created on the startup. And it's the best practice if you use a temperature probe in the loin, or at least one of the loins. So I'm using my Meat Stick 4X because it has an outstanding Bluetooth range. And I'll also post an Amazon link for that below in the description. Now, all you got to do is monitor the temperatures until you reach that 116 degrees Fahrenheit internal. Now, it took me two hours and 45 minutes, and that was with no peaking. And sure, you can cook at a higher temperature if you want to, but I don't think it would turn out quite as good. Now, when you hit that 116 degrees Fahrenheit internal, you want to increase your smoker temp to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I set aside four sheets of heavy duty 18 inch foil to wrap these two loins in and yes I'll be double wrapping. Okay this is kind of a popular method of wrapping your ribs. You want to put down some squeezed parquet or you can use butter and then you want to sprinkle on some brown sugar, follow that up with a good drizzle of honey. Then last we're going to go with some tiger sauce. Now that's optional but don't get too carried away if you use it because it will light it up a little bit. You want to put that piece of loin meat side down on your foil and into all that sugary goodness and then repeat that whole process again on top of the loin. And once you've got it all coated in that stuff, then you want to wrap up that sheet of foil and then you want to wrap it up in the second sheet of foil. Because if you've got a leak on this, it's just going to ruin your day, I promise. And I also poked a little hole through the foil so it'll leave that probe sticking out so we can get that Bluetooth signal out of the smoker. And you can also take note that I did reposition the probe so it sticks up a little higher so that liquid doesn't have a chance to leak out. Now once I get them both double wrapped, they go back into that Traeger at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now our target temperature has changed to 145 degrees internal. 
At 275 degrees, the pace of this cook is a whole lot faster. And when you reach 145 degrees internal, you want to remove those loins, and then you want to let them rest about 30 minutes or so. But the internal temperature, it will continue to rise for another five to seven degrees. It is best to get that temp back down to 140 or so before you start to slice it up. Now you can take the loin out of the foil, you can pour up that juice, put it in a container because we're definitely going to keep that to serve with the pork. You can slice the pork loin as thick or thin as you like. And guys, this tastes amazing. This is good enough to be your signature dish. And I just happen to have some great barbecue green beans to serve with this pork loin. And I'm gonna leave a link to that video right up here. Now these two are a absolute wonderful pairing. And I wish you could all try this right now. This is barbecue at its finest. You're gonna love this recipe. Now, if you found something useful in this video, then please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.